The Menu Maker group gives you powerful tools to create a dynamic drop-down menu bar with main menus and sub-menus. The first step in creating a menu is to add an object to your page that will act as the menu bar item. This can either be a rollover button, a normal button, any photo or graphic, or a shape created in the draw tab. When using a rollover button, first drag the button onto your page. The menu maker will treat the button's normal state as the look of the menu bar. The button's mouse over state will be used for each menu item that will pop out from the menu bar. The third state will be ignored. Be sure not to add any text to the button as you'll be adding it later in the menu maker. To use different graphics for menu bar and menu items when you're using graphics or shapes, simply select the object that you want to use as your menu bar and then shift click the object you'd like to use as the menu item. You can even use graphics of differing sizes for situations where you have a long menu title but a short menu selection, or vice versa. Once you've selected the graphics you're using, choose Menu Maker Studio from the submenu. First enter a menu title. This title will be added to the menu at the top level. Next choose the pages that you'd like to use as pop-up menu items. Each page can have a tip if you'd like, which will appear as the user mouses over the item. And you can choose whether the item is opened in a new browser window. Next choose Add Page, which will add it to the list of menu items on the left side of the dialog box. Use the next section down if you'd like to add an external URL to the menu. You can enter the link's title, URL, and an optional tip. Next, you can use Add All Pages if you'd like to quickly add all the pages in your website to the menu. In the list of current menu items, you can choose any item and move it down, up, or delete the item altogether. To change an item, double-click it and you can make changes to it on the right side. After you're done, choose Apply Changes. If you want a page to be nested inside another sub-menu, you can do that by inserting a vertical bar character before the page name that you're choosing. The vertical bar character is what you get when you type a shift backslash. Menu items with a vertical bar character at the beginning will be a sub-menu of the item directly above it. When you're finished adding pages to the menu, either choose OK or Save then Design Menu. If you choose OK, double-click the menu to preview the page and bring up the design ribbon. Choosing Save then Design Menu will preview and bring up the design ribbon automatically. In the Design ribbon, you can customize the look and feel of the menu and menu items. In the Orientation group, you can choose between a horizontal menu bar, where the submenus will pop out to the bottom, or a vertical menu bar, where the submenus will pop out to the right. Choose the same options for submenus. In the Menu Fonts group, you can choose the font, size, style, and normal and mouse over colors for the text of the menu. Next, choose the alignment of the text. The next two groups will let you choose a menu border color, border width, and style. The next four groups will give you the same controls over the menu items. Next, the Visual Effects group will let you choose between a variety of transitions which occur when a user mouses on and off the menu. Or you can turn off Visual Effects altogether if you want the menu to appear and disappear neatly. Next, the Opacity slider will let you change the opacity of the menu items if you'd like them to be translucent when they appear. After you're done making a menu object and you're going to make a few more, you can control click and drag to create a duplicate of the item. Doing this will create a copy that retains all the style decisions you made in the design tab. 
To change the content of the menu, right-click on the object and choose Menu Maker Studio. Then you can change the menu title and choose different links to populate the menu. Another way to save your menu design for later is to store it in a gallery. To do this, right-click on the menu object and choose Copy. Then simply switch to the My Stuff gallery and paste it in. Now your custom menu object can be easily accessed between different pages and even different projects.